Hello guys, Gabi here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my July 2020 manga collection video. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but this will be the first video on the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So right underneath we have the Full Metal Alchemist Brother or not Brotherhood Edition, um, Full Metal Edition. These are really nice hardcover edition books. And I think they're, they have really nice paper in them, and I'm really happy I'm getting these as they release. Because I have not actually read Full Metal Alchemist or watched the anime. So this is going to be my first time consuming it. And then right underneath, we have the complete four panel comics. Which I haven't read yet, but I decided if I'm gonna, if it's new coming out, I'm going to get everything. So then when I binge read it, it's going to be all there. And I'll be able to consume all of it in its entirety. So right underneath the Full Metal Alchemist, we have my Junji Ito little corner. So, Junji Ito is a horror mangaka, and he is one of my favorite mangaka of all time. So here it is, his edition of the novel No Longer Human, based off of the Japanese novel by Osamu Dazai. And then here's the actual novel right here, in case you, anyone's interested in that I have that. And then right underneath, we have uh, Tomie, which is a collection of his most popular character. Then we have Uzumaki. Then we have Gyo. Fragments of Horror, which is the first one I got, which actually made me like really interested in his work. Then we have Smashed, Shiver, Frankenstein, and his art book, Twisted Visions. I'll pull a little bit of it out. That's the back side. And since I have such a small room, I have to make as much use of my space as I can. So naturally in front of it, we have a Hinamaro figure from Hinamaro Sumo. Uh, this is a black and white grayscale version I got in Japan, and then here is a banana figurine, which I really like. And then underneath we have the box set for a silence voice, and then a little like preview stuff. Really nice box set, I really like the movie. I haven't read this yet because I'm a failure, so, <laughs> so uh, I'll be reading this soon. And before I show off this section, I might as well go over my figures. So I have a bunch of little slimes, little squishy ones that I got. Uh, in Castle Machines in Japan, and then I have some figurines. So this is like my little Dragon Ball area. I have two little areas. This is Yakon. This is uh, in Dragon Ball Z. The guy that Goku had killed, and one of the very few characters Goku has actually ever killed in Dragon Ball Z, where he was in the, the room and they had the light, and he feeds off light, and then Goku went Super Saiyan, and you know, <laughs> he ate too much, then he gets hold. Then we have a grade 8. Sadly, I don't remember which grade 8 this is. I think it's grade 8 Goku, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. And then we have one of my favorite Goku designs right here. And this really nice figurine. Really high quality. I really like this band Presto figure. And then we have a Master Roshi figure, which I really, really like right here. And then an old Gundam toy. So I'll move it out the way and show what's behind them. So right here, starting at the bottom, we have Captain Harlock 1, 2, and 3 complete. We have Cutie Honey complete and then Devil Man 1 and 2 complete. These are Seven Seas classic collections. I'm a really big fan of these classic collections because I'm not I haven't been the biggest like classic manga fan. I haven't read a ton of it, but then once I started getting these, I started getting really into it and I really like them. I'm still missing a Space Battleship Yamato. I don't know why I don't have it yet. <laughs> I just I don't know, I buy too much stuff, so I just like stuff gets pushed back to the back of like my uh priority list. So next we have, for the kid I saw in my dreams, I think this is a five volume series by uh, Kei Sanbei, who's the same person who wrote Erased or a Bokudake guy named Machi. Uh, the next we have Jojo part four. This is Diamond is Unbreakable. Um, I didn't really care to pick up the first three parts just because my brother had it and when I lived with him, uh, I would just borrow his copies. So I only have part four, which is my favorite part. And then I have an alternative manga no, a lot of people don't really know of called Slum Wolf. I'll actually show a little piece of that. Here's the cover, and it's a collection of stories from like the 60s and 70s. And you can just tell that that looks a lot older. It's really interesting. I really liked it. And it's not something I hear a lot of people talking about. So, where that was, we have. Well, I'll show my figures real quick. So, we have a Devil Man original design from the original anime. We have Hotaru from Dagashi Kashi, then we have an Amelia poster in the back, then we have Josuke from uh, Jojo Part 4, then we have a Kid Goku figurine, we have an Ainz Wallenstein from Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls Nine Dungeon, then we have Amelia, you know, from ReZero, and then we have uh, 
a Destiny Ghost, which came with a collected edition of the original game. Uh, Naruto coin purse, the one he uses throughout the series. Whoops. Then we have Frieza's ship. And then uh, right here we have Monster Hunter figure builders of Zora Magdaros, Anjanath, and then Palumu. Okay, and then next we have Prison School 1 to 14 complete. This is probably my favorite comedy manga of all time. I highly recommend someone who's a big fan of like etchy style comedy to check it out. Uh, I don't know, I just think it's hilarious. Uh, very minor spoiler, like vague spoiler. I do not like the ending at all. <laughs> I wanted to have a more happier ending, but that's okay. Then we have Raw Hero, which is a new manga being published in English by Akira Hiramoto, same mangaka of Prison School. There are two volumes out. I've not read volume two yet, but I like where it's going so far. And then right here, it's kind of out of order, but I have one, two, and three of uh, the Deluxe edition, Editions of Berserk. I need to pick up number five and then start reading them. I just wanted to get them as they came out, so I'm not spending a ton of money because they are like $49.99 MSRP, I think. But <laughs> Berserk, you know, everyone knows about it. Can't wait to get into it. And then I have my giant Akira 35th anniversary box set, which is really nice, which I might do a video just talking about sometime. The manga behind the very hit movie that a lot of people know about. And can't wait to talk about it. So, on the next shelf, this is like where I'll have all my Dragon Ball figurines. So, I'll just go talk about all of these real quick before I move them out the way. So, I have a Trunks from the Trunks uh, arc, and um, there's a Moss arc in Super. And then we have a uh, Stage 2 Cell, uh, Jocko, Galactic Patrolman, Nappa, Mecha Frieza. Uh, in um, Resurrection F, and we have Kid Goku <laughs> from one of my favorite parts in Dragon Ball when him and Krillin were delivering the milk. It's one of my favorite figurines. And then I have, oh, I forgot his name. His name is Kibito. <laughs> I just looked it up. Uh, I can't believe I forgot his name. I feel bad for that. Uh, then we have Goku from the uh, Fighters when that came out, the creator bonus. Then we have another Goku I got in Japan. Very similar to the uh, other one I showed earlier. Same uh, style, but this one's like, <laughs> it's almost like a bath toy. It's very weird, but I really like it. And then I have a Bulma figurine right here. And then I have a Dragon Quest slime. This one's made out of glass. And then a first Dragon Ball, also made out of like glass. So now right here, we have the time I got reincarnated the slime manga. 1 to 12, uh, caught up, up to date. Uh, they actually differentiate in season of the, one of the manga or <laughs> the anime around volume 11, then into 12, if anyone's wondering. Then we go into here, which is all of Tokyo Ghoul, volumes 1 to 14, and then all of Tokyo Ghoul Re, volumes 1 to 16, both complete. And then we have Not Simple by Natsume Ono, a one shot or one off volume, really good. Really enjoyed it. And then Monster by Naoki Urasawa, which I haven't finished, but this is complete. And then above this, we have She and Her Cat, which is a one off volume. The God's Lie, which is a one off volume. Hunger Mark, 100 Manga Artists, which is a really cool like little art book showcasing a bunch of different artists' work. So then next, we have Abara, which is uh, a Tsukomu Nihei work. It's the first and only one that I have by him. It's kind of vague, kind of weird, so I like to get into more work by him. Uh, then we have Omage's Inner Savage, or In Your Savage Season, which I really, really like. I had to get more of the volumes, but I was a really big fan of this, and I found out that it had an anime adaptation. And I haven't finished that either, but I really liked it. Uh, and then we have today's menu for the Emiya family, which is 1 and 2, volume 3 is out. This is by Dempa Publishing, a newer publisher. Uh, just like a slice of life cooking manga with Fate, Fate Stay Night characters. Uh, Uzaki-chan hangs out, which is, um, or Uzaki-chan wants to hang out, which is a one volume that I have so far out of two, uh, by Seven Seas. This is also getting anime right now. And then we have Beastars 1 and 2, uh, which I haven't finished. And then, uh, Blank Canvas, which is really good about just becoming an artist. And this manga is kind of like a life story. Uh, this shelf's over on to the next one. So right over here, we have Inside Mari by Shuzo Oshimi. This is also a Dempa manga. Not complete, still coming out. This is really good manga, I really recommend. And then I also have Happiness 1 through 5. Uh, this is not all of them, I think they're up to 10, which is complete, also by Shuzo Oshimi. It's a darker, like, vampire manga, which is really good. <laughs> I really recommend. I really like his uh, work. 
Then we have uh, Blood on the Tracks, which is also a, a volume one, a newer release by him. Uh, volume two is not out yet. I'm excited for that. And then he has another manga, which is coming out in a month or two. I'm not sure, but looking forward to that as well. And we have Man Abyss, which is one to eight, which is up to date. Uh, <laughs> this manga releases very slowly, so I'm excited to see what happens next. But I feel like it's going to be forever before that happens. I think it's like March or April or something when, <laughs> when volume nine comes out. Not 100% on that, but I really, really like this manga. I read it before I watched the anime, and it's just, I don't know, I just highly recommend it. I really like it. And then right over here, we have ReZero. This is the light novels. I only have one, two, and three, because I didn't want to buy too many before actually reading them, because I have not <laughs> read them yet, because I'm a failure, but that's okay. Uh, next, we have Pez, which is by the person who wrote Tagami Bachi. Right here, it's a full color by... Uh, Dempa as well. I really like uh, this manga and I like what Dempa's doing because they're a newer publisher. And then we have uh, Invitation from a Crab by, what's her name? Uh, Pompanya. <laughs> this is a really good manga. I really like how it's has very simple characters with like really detailed environments and it's just a very simple manga. I really really like it and I can't wait for more from this author. Um, and then we have Maiden Railways, also Dempa, really good. Little short story. These are all one offs. Um, Little Miss P, <laughs> which is about a like personified period <laughs> that comes to this woman, and I really enjoy it. It was a really good little uh, story. I recommend this to like to anyone. Very lighthearted, but really nice. Um, and then we have Kakigurui, which I got when it first released. I really liked it, but I didn't like it enough to keep getting more. So eventually, I will get more. But it was good. Dark gambling manga. Then we have Neoparasite F, pretty sure it's a different way to say that, and M. These are uh, by a bunch of different mangaka, if I can get the focus. And a bunch of different short stories just about like the parasite genre and stuff. And it's really cool to see a bunch of different artwork artists like take on like what they would do with the series. And then we have uh, Cells at Work Volume 1, which I haven't gotten the rest of. I really like this manga. I'm sure everyone knows about it already. And then uh, my friend made an order of Inuyashiki, and then they accidentally got two extra copies of these volumes, so he gifted them to me. But really, really liked this manga. I haven't finished it, but I watched the anime, which I really liked. Very intense, and this is like one of my favorite manga covers of all time. I just really like this artwork. And then over here, we have the Skullface bookseller Honda-san, 1 to 4 complete. I really like this manga, just about like day-to-day -day life, working as a bookseller. And they had an anime adaptation, which I also really enjoyed. I'm sad that it's over. <laughs> I wish it was longer, but it was really good. And then we have Way of the House Husband Volume 1. Uh, this is really good. Hear good things. I need to get more. Uh, 20th Century Boys. I actually got these before I got the Perfect Editions, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, I didn't <laughs> know the Perfect Editions were even coming out, so I wouldn't have even bought these. But I really like these individual covers anyways. And I really like this manga. Over here we have Please Tell Me Galko-chan, which is uh, 1 to 5. This actually just got cut recently. Um, they are started going out of print, and now it's pretty much fully out of print. It's an all-color manga just about those questions that ask like, the main character, and then everyone answers it. Really good series. Uh, they had an anime adaptation as well. Uh, they had volume 6 coming out, I think, in January, but that has been taken down off the Amazon page. So <laughs> I believe that this is fully over. Um, kind of rare now, surprisingly. And I was thankfully able to get them uh, cheap on eBay before uh, the price spiked on them. So I'm going to read this soon. And then over here, we have Volume 1 of No Guns Life, which I really want to get into more. Also, as an anime. Uh, I don't know, I haven't read this yet, so I'm excited to check it out. Kaiji. Volume 1. <laughs> I, want, I want to read this so bad. It's just been like taking forever to come out. Kept getting delayed over and over. So I'm excited to, to check it out. I heard very good things about the anime. I'm happy the manga is coming out here. So after I catch my breath, here is Dead Dead Demon De De Destruction by Inio Asano. Inio Asano is my favorite <laughs> mangaka of all time. And this is his current ongoing series, which is like a sci-fi adventure kind of series. I really like so far. I have not been keeping up with it. But I'm excited to read them in bulk soon. And then um, starting on this shelf, we have uh, Dragon Ball 
original, uh, Visbigs, 1, 2, and 3, so technically volumes 1 to 9. Vagabond, uh, 1, 2, and 3 as well. Neon Genesis Evangelion, 1 to, one to 14 complete. Solonine, which is uh, by Inu Asano. Goodnight Poon Poon, also by Inu Asano. It's my favorite manga of all time. Uh, what a Wonderful World by Inu Asano. Downfall, also by Inu Asano. And A Girl on the Shore. All of his manga, I feel like he's just perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, and I have Yuji Kara Holograph over here. I really, really enjoy his work. I could probably make a whole video talking about that, which I probably will do in the future. So next we have Fire Punch 1 to 8 complete. This is by Tatsuki Fujimoto, which is doing Chainsaw Man right now, which does not have an English release, but here's the first Japanese volume. I'm a huge fan of Chainsaw Man, and before this I read Fire Punch, and Fire Punch is also really, really good. <laughs> I really liked it. Phenomenal series. I wish it had an anime adaptation coming out. Uh, and then we have The Book of Human Insects by Osama Tezuka, Adam Cat, um, and then Phoenix by Osama Tezuka, which I really like. Specifically volume, I think it's, no, it's not three, it's this one over here. Tale of the Future, which is like one of my favorite manga, like, stories of all time. Because they're kind of episodic, like each volume is its own story. And then we have <laughs> a random manga I found called The Spirit of Wonder, definitely an older manga. Um... Yeah, I really like the artwork on it, so I picked it up. Alright, now that's all back in place, so I need to start speeding this up so it's not taking so long. But here's all my Japanese manga. So, off the side we have the Dr. Stone reboot, which just got an um, English uh, adaptation announced. Really, really, really good spin-off series of Dr. Stone. I really <laughs> like this so much. Can't wait. Uh, hopefully it gives an anime special soon. I really, really want it. To come out and then we have um the j stars little character compendium book teach you about the game and about all the characters chainsaw man which i showed you guys uh, these are two assassination classroom character books and like data books and we have uh two bakamon like character and data books uh volume one and two of dr slump volume zero of hunter hunter uh volume one of zatch bell uh mujirusi which I bought this before the English version, which was announced, which is really cool. Can't wait to start reading this soon. My Japanese is not good enough <laughs> to just read the Japanese version that I have. Um, and then an Arakawa on the bridge, little like animation book. I'm really happy I have that. I love that anime so much. Uh, Yotsubato, um, or Yotsuba and in English. This is a children, <laughs> like ch not children's manga, but uh, very simple to read. So I like to read this for uh, practice. Uh, the Mob Psycho 100, Vegan Side Story, uh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> I don't remember what these are. I think they're character books. Uh, then we have a little Crayon Shin Chan book. I uh, don't know what that is. I don't remember. Uh, the opening works of Doraemon. Um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Guidebook. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is a guidebook for um. Fossil Fighters, and then uh, two <laughs> random issues of Koro Koro, the magazine for children in Japan. Then over here I have my Inu Asano like manga, because I like him so much I want to get all his work in English and, Jan and Japanese. Here's a mini version of his art book. I want to get the large version, which is really expensive, and I can't find it for a good price. Uh, what a Wonderful World, volumes 1 and 2 complete. I'm just going to show all of these instead of read them all out to you guys. Oh, this is Downfall, which um just had a release right over here. I just showed it. Come on, come on. Right in there. Oh, yeah, and this is Solani, which has an English release. Oh, yeah, and this is, uh, I think, uh, Yushatachi. I really want this to get an English release. I really like this manga. I read this one. I already really liked it. Um, and then I have Star Wars uh, Phantom Minutes manga I just picked up in Japan. Uh, a bunch of Dragon Ball like books for different things. And I have Neko Majin, which is another work by Akira Toriyama. Uh, Galactic, Chocolate of Galactic Patrol Man, like collector edition thing. And then right over here I have Osama Tezuka's Buddha, which I haven't finished reading yet, but I'm very excited to have all that. I can't wait to read more. And then back here, I'll actually move out of the way. This is my little Shonen Jump collection. 
So I have a bunch of different ones. I'll make a video on it sometime just to talk about all of it. But uh, I'll just point out some of the important ones. So this one right here, this is the very first issue of Kimetsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer in English. Um, I actually bought this just on a whim, just randomly at like a Japanese store that was in the area. And I didn't know how to read any Japanese at the time. And it was right before I started my classes. So I decided I'd practice just by looking at this. And this just happened to be the issue in it. And I didn't expect it to be such a beloved like manga and anime. And I'm so happy I got this so much. Uh, and then over here, you know, we have like the first issue of Red Sprite, which didn't do too well. My Hair Academia one. Um, I forgot that manga name. I think that's the first issue. Then we have just a One Piece volume and then our Kimetsu no Yaiba volume. And then the very first uh, chapter of Hungry Marie, which was a manga done by the Beelzebub uh, manga, which I really wanted to do well, but sadly it didn't. And we have actually the very first issue of Dr. Stone. I'll pull it out in a second. <laughs> I'm very excited to have that. Um, a volume of Promised Neverland. And then a random jump giga I decided to get. Uh, I think this is when Gintama first got switched over to it um, before it finished. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool to pick up, so I picked that up when I was in Japan. And then these ones are from when I was living there. Uh, this is a Promised Neverland one, or announcing the anime adaptation, uh, The Last Sayuki, which got cut sadly, but it was a really good manga. Uh, and then the first issue of Yubi Kamio, which got cut also. <laughs> uh, and then, um, Dr. Er, Dr. Stone, uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, uh, anime adaptation one. And then right over here, we have the Kochikame edition, right here at the top. This is the very last issue that it was in, so I'm very happy to have that. And then, uh, this is a new manga from this year, Time Paradox Ghost Rider. It's the very first issue, but it also happens to be the very final issue of Kimetsu no Yaiba. And like I said, I pull it out. I'll make a whole video on these more in depth, but this is the very first issue of Dr. Stone, which I'm very happy to have. So real quick, I'll show these off. These are guidebooks. Um, here's a, I'll also explain the Japanese ones. Here's a, I think it's a Wild World uh, Animal Crossing guidebook. This is a um, like biopic about Satoshi Tajiri, who's the creator of Pokemon. And then a Ken Sugimori uh, art book about all of his different works. Uh, and then we have a, <laughs> a really old um, mixing, which is a like kind of manga magazine that came out. Uh, that has Parasite in it. Um, and then here's just some American comics. And then Pokemon Guidebook. This is uh, the art of um, Spider-Verse. And then back here. I'll just like go slowly. You guys can pause and just look at each one. I have a Dragon Ball art book in there. Complete illustrations. Really, really big fan of that. I really like that. Alright, so that's this. This is the whole shelf. And we'll go on to the, <laughs> the dark corner over there where I have more stuff packed in. I just realized I'm running out of space, so this is goodbye for right now. I'll see you guys in a part two. Please tune in. This will be uh, an annotated in an end card, or just you'll see it on the channel. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this part one so far. Please stay tuned for my part two video. Thank you.